Before DJ Polly D would become the breakaway star of the Jersey Shore and would coin catchphrases including the cabs are here, t shirt time, and yeah, buddy. Era. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Before DJ Polly D would clock in 2.4 million Instagram followers and would be worth an estimated $24 million. Hey guys, Dax Hold here. So, Polly D shopping around for a brand new car. Where does he go? Gamblezarian's house. Before Polly D sat down with Jay Leno, Andy Cohen, Wendy Williams, Good Morning America, Chelsea Lately, Ellen DeGeneres, Conan, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jimmy Fallon, and The Eric Andre Show. But you never hooked up with Snooki? You never put like a tip of marinara on your dick hole when she's on her moon cycle? What and the just, just for sal solidarity? Nah. Before DJ Polly D would return to the shore in 2018 for the Jersey Shore Family Vacation Reunion Show. Put on the nightlight. The oldest member of the cast, Polly D, was already pushing 30 when he first appeared on Jersey Shore. Now, growing up, he had two passions music and cars. So he turned both of these into careers. He started out working as a DJ at birthday parties and baby showers, and he also washed cars at a dealership. Now, 10 years later, he worked his way up the ladder with both gigs, and he had swapped his soap bucket to become a used car buyer, and he'd also become Rhode Island's most popular club DJ. When he got the call to appear on the Jersey Shore, his initial concern was that he was going to lose his spot as the local DJ star. But the world had bigger plans for Polly D. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden documenting the life and career of DJ Polly D prior to fame. Here for you one before they are famous. Now we did a quick video taking a look at each and every one of the castmates and what they've been doing post Jersey Shore fame and you guys requested I do Polly D. Now as always I'm looking for you guys to tell me who to do next so hit me up on Instagram and Twitter also in the comments down below. All right. It looks like it's T-shirt time! Paul Del Vecchio was born on July 5th, 1980 in Providence, Rhode Island. The son of Donna Di Carlo and Paul D. Del Vecchio Sr. I really hope I'm not butchering his last name. Now, Polly D, he claims, I'm 100% Italian, my family's straight from Italy. I take pride in being Italian. I love being Italian. I love the food. I definitely don't represent all Italians. I only represent myself. It actually turns out that his mother's part Brazilian. But what you gonna do about it? Now, he grew up with his sister named Vanessa and the family. They lived in the town of Johnston, population 30K. As I mentioned in the intro, Polly had two major interests, which were music and cars. Now, the few photos that I could find from his childhood, you'll see him posing next to a car or posing next to pictures of cars on his wall or riding around on dirt bikes. His second love was music. Now, when he would see a car drive by playing loud music, he thought that was the coolest thing ever, so he decided to learn how to make loud music long before he even got his license. Now, he first started to DJ at the age of 14, practicing on an Alpine deck with a Zeus High Phonics amp, and he did this all in his bedroom. Now, he attended Johnson High School, and at 16, he got his first car, a Toyota Corolla. Although the car was a total piece of shit, he had put in it the best sound system he could afford and was blasting music all over town. His favorite DJ growing up was DJ AM. His next big purchase was his first turntable. And speaking about his early years of music, well, Polly D told Rolling Stone magazine, I was practicing in my room and then I got my first party. It was a sweet 16 and I smashed that party. So everybody wanted me to do their parties after that. All different kinds of things from birthday parties to baby showers. Now, I'm not sure what kind of people fist pump at a baby shower, but invite me. <laughs> now, content with not just one job, well, he got a second gig at a car dealership where he washed cars on weekends. And following high school, well, he worked his way up to be in charge of the other washers. Then he got into the service department, then he got into parts, then he got into sales. By his late 20s, he had a pretty dope job as a used car buyer. Now, this isn't the same thing as being a used car salesman. I'll take it from here, Gil. No, wait, ah, oh, no, you can't take my sale. My wife's gonna leave me if I don't start bringing in the green. Come on, let me have this one, Stan. I'm begging you. Polly's job was to scout out and secure high-end used cars and buy them for a deal so that his dealership could sell them and make some profit. Now, he first started out working locally, but then he began to travel across the country. He was then promoted to be the manager, and he had a team of people acquiring cars from all across the world. Or all over the world. Whatever. Now, obviously, he never gave up on DJing, 
and he had built up a lot of confidence. He stated, I didn't consider myself good until I was in the game for seven years, and it's always progress. Soon he was a highly regarded DJ in the area working at clubs like Ultra. Let's take a look at one of his nights back in 2010. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if that's the type of club I'd be going to, but good for him. Roll back the clock to 2008 and VH1 was looking to produce a competition show that highlighted the Guido lifestyle. Now the idea was later fleshed out to be more of a documentary series, I Love the Real World, and MTV got to work looking for stars. Unlike his castmate counterparts, MTV came to Pauly D after discovering him on MySpace. The casting directors called me from LA and they said they wanted to send down a camera crew to Rhode Island to film a day in my life. They filmed me at the gym, filmed me tanning, and filmed me going to the club. Now the dude was living in a house with a studio, a pool table, and a tanning bed. Obviously he was perfect for the show. But during the weeks leading up to moving out to the Jersey Shore, he still had his reservations. I was worried though, I didn't know what I was getting myself into with the television stuff. I didn't want to lose my job in Rhode Island as a DJ. So that's what I was nervous about. So what he did was get a few friends to cover him during his 30 days while he was away filming. Jersey Shore premiered on December 9th and the audience quickly became obsessed. Each and every week the ratings seemed to double and by the season finale well MTV knew that they had a hit on their hands. And Pauly D, well he quickly became the show's breakout star. As for the rest of the story, well you know the story, or I could keep telling it, but that would have to be in an after their famous video. And to make sure that happens, well you gotta request it. Be sure to hit me up in the comments down below and of course on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, if there's enough of you, well I'll be sure to get it done. My name is Michael McCrudden, here are some other videos you should check out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.